On November the 14th, 1959, I stood in a farmyard in Cork. This is the farm. It stands there still. I watched as the gates opened to admit the first bulldozer. Less than two years later, I stood here again and saw this, the neat new outline of Cork Airport. Now the airport has been tried and proven. It has doubled the traffic expectations of its planners. Cork Tower to Echo Kilo Bravo, Cork landing conditions, wind 310 at 13 knots, visibility of 25 nautical miles, light showers, altimeter setting Queen Nan Howe, 1007 decimal 3, temperature 14, transition level 30. Like the other new Cork baby, the Cork dockyard, just a few miles away, the airport has become an immediate success. The talk is that the planners expected 30,000 people to use this airfield in its first year. It's safe to say now that this figure will be doubled. The airfield covers 500 statute acres, cost over a million pounds to build, the main runway, 6,000 feet long, is 50 yards wide. Concrete covers nearly a quarter of a million square yards of the airfield. A gentle landing and another friendship comes in with a full load of 40 people. It's a clear day today, but in the stickiest of conditions, the airborne pilots can depend on the modern instrument landing systems with which the airport is equipped. Since the airport opened in October, up to the 30th of June 1962, 40,000 passengers went through the airport and 193 tons of freight. In July, the airport had passenger traffic amounting to over 10,000 passengers and handled 38 tons of freight. It's expected that August and September figures will be higher still. Note the name on the plane, the patron of Cork Finbar. Catering services at the airport are in the hands of CIE's catering subsidiary, Ostrana Umpur Ehren. This restaurant has special sprung floor for dancing, which will be a regular feature here in the winter seasons. It's obvious that Cork Airport intends to make itself a name as a gourmet's paradise. In addition to the restaurant, there's a very spacious bar, three times the size of that in Dublin's main airport building. The public rooms are particularly tastefully designed. All the work of design has been done by the department's own officials under their architect, L.M. Carroll. Some of these people used to fly through Dublin Airport. Now they save a 320 mile road journey and the cost of it. Others are flying for the first time because the air age has come to Cork. Others still used to come in by sea from Fishguard, but it's also a fact that the MV Innisfallen doesn't appear to have suffered a traffic loss as a result of the coming of Cork Airport. The overall passenger traffic through Cork is well up this year.
And this is what it feels like to be a bag. In addition to Aer Lingus, four British airlines operate regular scheduled services through Cork. Cambrian, Starways, Derby and Jersey Airlines. Aer Lingus is the major user with over 50 flights a week. To Dublin or England or Europe, wherever this plane is heading, it is another pointer to Cork's new importance on the world's airways.